Hey guys, this is Tono and today we've got a few different things to talk about. But before we get into that, I just wanted to announce that we are doing a giveaway over on my Discord. So make sure you do go check that out. Just join my Discord. There's a link down below. Uh, come over here. We chat about the game. Honestly, I think it's the best place to talk about Marvel Strike Force, but I don't know, maybe I'm a bit biased. But either way, you can get over here and you're going to be able to sign up for this giveaway. So what are we going to be talking about today? First up, we're going to be talking about uh, my final two guesses for the Horsemen. Uh, two of the Horsemen. I don't know the third. Like, I have no idea on the third. Uh, the Horsemen... Um, overall their timeline and everything and then talk about uh the team to go alongside morgana which i'm pretty excited about um i am fairly certain on two of the members and the fifth one i'd love to hear from you guys who you think it's going to be but before we're going to get into that uh we're going to start here so first of all they basically confirmed that there's going to be a legendary nearly every second patch this year they said this is going to be playing out over a huge interlocking series of game modes with story events like this kind of thing they're going to tell you so you know the entire apocalypse saga including the horsemen across the year and they've also mentioned hey these are going to be replacing the mythic legendaries for the year of 2022 basically saying that this is all going to be happening this is the year of apocalypse with all these horsemen and himself coming which means that we are going to be getting five legendaries five essential legendaries this year We've got Pestilence first. Obviously, we know her. We've got Morgan Le Fay as Pestilence, which, by the way, I don't want to gloat, but my rumor was correct there. I know I get some rumors wrong, but you guys out there saying, hey, Tony, you get everything wrong. You're a fucking dickhead. Well, anyway, um, so then we've got kind of like two down patches, essentially. There's going to be looking like around six, seven patches this year, and with five legendaries within them, that's two patches, essentially, that we're not going to get anything. So... This is how I'm kind of mapping it out myself. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get one this patch. Then we'll have a break patch. Then another horseman. Then a break patch. And then we kind of ramp up for the rest of the year. There is potential that they move Famine forward. So Famine is next patch. Uh, sorry, not next patch. The patch after. So we go Pestilence into Famine. Into a break. Into war. Into a break. Into death. Into Apocalypse. Assuming Apocalypse is at the very end of the year. Now, you guys might be saying, hey, Torna, Apocalypse's uh, release method hasn't been confirmed or anything, but they actually have talked about it. In here, they said, look, Apocalypse is going to be requiring his horsemen, uh, and for you to be able to unlock the horsemen, you're going to need to recruit the four legendary horsemen, and where does it say it? It's set it down here. To be able to unlock him, you're going to need his four horsemen and a few extra characters. Now, I can't remember if it was in here or not. Uh, I can't remember. In order to unlock the legendaries they need, you need to compete in this. And then they said to unlock Apocalypse, you're going to be requiring his four horsemen and some additional requirements to add him to your roster. And this says that this is going to be taking place over the course of 2022. So it's basically confirming, look, we're going to get a, pop, a, a legendary every couple months. So just keep that in mind as teams are being released and stuff that you saw most recently with Dark Hunters being required immediately the patch after they're added into the game. Things are going to get fucky. Uh, we're going to need a lot of different characters, a lot of different times and stuff like that. We don't know how these leaderboards are going to work. We don't know how the points are going to work. We don't know what stars these characters unlock. We don't know so much different stuff, but... Essentially, you're going to be having a look at here and being like, hey, uh, we're going to be flat out for the rest of the year. Now, as for the horsemen, I, uh, they've said that basically, look, they're all going to dominate in their own game mode. Um, over here, look, uh, in here in the apocalypse section, they said... 
blah, 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 down here. They're going to command their own powerful team that'll specialize in dominating a specific game mode. Now, it doesn't say that they can't double up, so we can't have like two alliance war game modes or something like that. However, we've got arena here, obviously with pestilence, famine, cosmic crucible. Like I'm willing to lock in whoever is famine, whether it's rogue or not, locking it in as a cr cosmic crucible legendary to kind of encourage people to go after it to start with as well as apocalypse but just because introducing a, a cosmic crucible legendary not long after cosmic crucible seems like they're kind of mo uh mo uh, and then we've got alliance war for war at least to me that kind of made sense death i have no idea with an apocalypse assumedly he's going to dominate freaking everywhere now as for who famine is i'm pretty sure famine's rogue and that death is century however war i have no idea i heard the rumor well not the rumor sorry the suggestion that it could be someone like man thing or someone like uh werewolf by night a few different people have posted that one over on my uh discord man thing was castrum either of those two like a fifth for the dark hunters i definitely think could be the war um legendary here we know that werewolf by night's also in the files and everything it's in that character that they can kind of make us care about because he's a legendary even though we don't really care about him so i'd love to see as to what that is now as for morgana's actual team obviously we know that it's the dark hole team we know that there's three new members we know scarlet which is on it and morgan's on it so after that now i'm also just to just to clarify she goes by morgana sometimes she goes by morgan i prefer calling her morgana it doesn't matter either way. Um, I am about 99% sure that Agatha Harkness is going to be on this team and Doctor Strange from the What If, aka Strange Supreme, is going to be on this team. Both characters are masters of the dark arts. Um, both characters have had stuff to do with the Darkhold, I believe. Doctor, Actually, I'm not sure if he had anything to do with the Darkhold yet. Um, I guess we'll kind of have to see, but he does have a fair bit to do with, let's see, just dark hold he's had to do with the dark dimension and stuff um he's been a very strong character lots of dark magic and everything like that now i'm like fairly confident about this stuff this these characters again like the fact that um my main source like my now my main source has kind of brought them to me um it's making me pretty confident the gammon and rogue are actually coming but i'm willing to to admit that I'm going to probably get burnt again. This source was accurate, however, saying Morgan is going to be um, coming to the game before anyone. Like, who thought that Morgan Le Fay was going to be coming to Marvel Strike Force? It was a completely out there suggestion when I saw it. And look, she's coming. She's a freaking horseman, for God's sake. And this source has also told me, look... Doctor Strange and Mordo are going to be getting reworks. And on top of that, they're actually looking at Rogue's kit at the moment and trying to make it so she's not an insanely powerful god. So I guess we'll kind of see how that ends up playing out. But I'd love to hear from you guys. What fifth character do you think is going to be on Morgan Le Fay's team? I am fairly confident in these two. Doctor Strange is probably one that I'm less confident with. Agatha, I'm like 99% sure. And man, Catherine Hayne, I'm going to wail out for her, um, potentially, like if they kind of address the freaking leaderboards. Anyway, that's a whole different issue. I'm trying to remain positive at the moment. Um, in, in front of you guys, I'm remaining positive in front of you guys. You don't see the kind of shit that I give them in the behind about trying to get this stuff fixed. Um, and I'm about, I'm pretty confident with these two too. So let me know what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.